Well, it looks like the GameStop employees that we reported on just a few days ago were right. The NES, or I should say Super NES Classic Edition is real, and it is launching on September 29th. So here's the details. Here, here's In fact, I'm just going to read right off from the press report so you guys uh, can get everything in full. Uh, and then we'll react to the games list here uh, when we get to that point. So the press release for it says, The Super Nintendo Entertainment System, Nintendo's follow-up console to the legendary Nintendo Entertainment System, launched in 1991 and introduced many what many consider some of the greatest video games of all time. Classics such as Super Mario World, The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, Super Mario Kart, Super Metroid, and F-Zero. On September 29th, this beloved console is coming back to stores in the form of the Super Nintendo Entertainment System Super NES Classic Edition. The mini system, which contains 21 pre-installed classic games, can be easily plugged into any high-definition TV using the included HDMI cable. It will be available at a suggested retail price of $79.99. And for the first time, players who pick up the system can enjoy the intergalactic adventure Star Fox 2, the sequel to the original Star Fox game that was created during the Super NES era, but it never actually released anywhere. While many from around the world consider the Super NES to be one of the greatest video game systems ever made, many of the younger fans have never had a chance to play it, said Doug Bowser, Nintendo of America's Senior Vice President of Sales and Marketing. With the Super NES Classic Edition, at new fans will be introduced to some of the best Nintendo games of all time, with longtime fans can relive some of the favorite retro classics with family and friends. The Super Nintendo Entertainment System will have the same look and feel as the original system, only smaller, with the preloaded 21 games. Uh... All of these games would be considered classic by anyone's standards, and some of them in particular um, have, are massive role-playing games that could take dozens of hours to complete, even for super fans who have played all of these games multiple times. Uh, and the inclusion of the number before release Star Fox 2 will offer them an entirely new to enjoy if they can unlock it by proving their skills in the original Star Fox game. Uh, you only have to beat the first level. <laughs> Included with the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, Super Nintendo Classic Edition, are one HDMI cable, one USB charging cable, one AC adapter, two wired Super NES Classic controllers, perfect for playing multiplayer games. Having two controllers will make it easy for two players to dive into multiplayer action right away. Some of the games of multiplayer, blah, 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 include Street Fighter 2, Turbo, blah, blah, blah. The Nintendo Entertainment System is launched on September 29th, 79.99. So... Here's what we get out of this. One, it is significantly more expensive than the NES Classic Edition for less games. But you get two controllers instead of one. So you don't have to, they don't have to sell separate controllers. And so that adds a little bit to the value. And two, there's actually a brand new game that was never released before here. And whatever you want to put the value on that is, I don't know, it's obviously going to depend just how good is Star Fox 2. But let's go over the game list because... I think it was always a given that if this system existed, it was going to have uh, a higher price point just because it's a newer generation of system. I always assumed they'd hit 30 games again, but it's 21. Let's go through the list. So they have Contra 3, The Alien Wars. Not, not bad. Contra is a, a fantastic franchise. Contra 3 is sweet. Uh, Donkey Kong Country. Classic. Earthbound. Mm, I'd love to see Mother 3, but anyways, Earthbound. Final Fantasy 3. Ah, man. Is that the one with the flying airships? If it is, then that's my favorite Final Fantasy. That's awesome. F-Zero. Got to get that F-Zero going. Kirby Superstar and Kirby's Dream Course. A Link to the Past. No surprise. Mega Man X. Still to date, one of the best Mega Mans. Secret of Mana until Breath of the Wild, that was my all-time favorite game. Maybe after replaying it, it'll leapfrog Breath of the Wild again. I don't know. It's like neck and neck. Star Fox, which you have to beat the first level of to unlock Star Fox 2. Really weird that you even have to beat anything. I guess they having to beat the whole game, but just a level? I don't know. Anyway, Street Fighter 2 Turbo, Hyper Fighting, Super Castlevania 4, Super Ghosts and Ghouls, Super Mario Kart, Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. Hell yes. Super Mario World, of course. Super Metroid. No surprise there. Super Punch-Out. If you can't tell, Super was kind of the big thing of the day back then. And Yoshi's Island. 
So that's a really, really good games lineup. Obviously, my disappointment that it's not 30 games is more so an expectation from the NES Classic Edition, which had 30 games. Uh, I know these games are bigger. I know that they're longer. Uh, I know that they're typically considered higher quality games. But there's so many good games in the SNES. They easily could have found 30 to put on the thing. But, you know, they got to keep costs under. You know, if they had to increase the size of the NAND flash memory to put 30 on, then it would have led to probably a $100 system. And I don't think this SNES Classic Edition looks as attractive at $99.99. But let's be real. If it costs $99.99, it's still going to sell out. And they're still not going to make enough of them. They're still going to be frustrated consumers. Like, I am... I'm still frustrated that this is even happening right now. I want it to happen. Here's the thing. I want this product. I want it now. I want it in my house right now. I want the NES Classic Edition in my house right now the day it was that announced. Like, I want it. It needs to exist. There's a high consumer demand for this kind of product. But we know what's going to happen. We know they're not going to make enough. We know that the moment it's available for pre-order, which it is in some countries right now, I have not found pre-orders yet in the United States at the time of, of me recording this video. But we know that it's it's going to be nearly impossible to find. It, it'll go up for pre-order and within the first five minutes be sold out and anyone who happened to be working or going to the bathroom or didn't know about this news at the time is going to end up being shit out of luck. There are not going to be enough restocks. No one's going to be able to get it. It's going to be scalped to hell because welcome to the free market in the United States. And yeah, it, it, it's just going to suck. It, it, it's going to suck. People are not going to be able to, This is the system that everybody wants and nobody's going to be able to get, just like the NES Classic Edition, unless you want to pay extra pricing on eBay or even Amazon from other sellers that are reselling. So I, we, we know what's going to happen. We know this is going to be a completely frustrating situation. And I, I still don't think we're ready for the SNES Classic Edition, not, because, not just because we need some time, right? We need a longer period to get over the fact that the NES Classic Edition isn't coming out. In fact, I would almost rather them announce that they're bringing back the NES Classic Edition for this holiday um, as kind of like a second chance, you know, for people who weren't able to get it last year. But it's because they still haven't caught up on the Switch stock situation right? Nintendo has never expressly said that the NES Classic Edition, or now the SNES Classic Edition, is a reason or, or causing any extra Switch delays, and maybe it's not. Maybe they have a separate company doing the NAND Flash that's independent from the company Nintendo uses for Switch. I don't know. We obviously aren't going to know. We're not Nintendo. But they can't keep up with the Switch. So they thought it was a bright idea to release another system at the same time that they're not going to be able to keep up with that. That's that's where my mind is a little baffled at what Nintendo's thinking here, because right now you would figure 99.9% .9 of all of their efforts should be on the Switch, on restocking the Switch. And the fact that they're splitting some of their efforts to make however many million, who knows if they even make one million, but whatever. I'm hoping they make a few million at least of the Super NES Classic Edition uh, when they could use that production line, especially if it's using NAND flash memory, they can use that NAND flash production line to help make more switches. Um, just seems off the ball. Now, from a general consumer perspective, they're not going to know about any manufacturing issues. They're just going to be like, this is awesome. And most of you guys are probably thinking the same. This thing is awesome. Can, can we just sit back and appreciate the, like, how amazing these classic systems are? We just know they're going to be impossible to get. It's going to be the system you want. You're going to be thrilled that exists and hardly any of us are going to end up owning it because we're not going to get a fair opportunity in the marketplace to buy it and that sucks so i am thrilled about this announcement it's got some of my all-time favorite games i mean secret of mana star fox star fox 2 i mean think about it there's going to be an exclusive star fox 2 game on here that's going to be almost impossible for people to get their hands on it's man Man, I'm excited and scared and mad all at the same time. Only Nintendo could do this to me, I swear. Anyways, if you like this video, you know what to do. If you dislike it, hit that dislike button. Subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this. And as always, I will catch you in the next one.